Give it a crank and still works. There's even some old receipt paper in here. We are the children of Bruce Bradley, who is a collector of this cash register. He passed away in April unexpectedly. He collected cash registers as a hobby. We, we grew up with cash registers on our mantle in the fireplace. When we yes. opened up the drawers, there was play money and coins and blocks and, and different little trinkets in there that we had left in from when we were children. This is the serial number, the uh, make model. It was from October of 1913. And you can see here it was Ellis Byrne from Chicago, Illinois. I woke up on a Saturday morning, had received an email from Pam saying that she believed she had our family's cash register. We connected very shortly thereafter. She sent me all the pictures of it. And, uh, I was just really happy to get it taken care of quickly and we made plans to go pick up the register and uh, to give it to our father for Christmas. Is that the cash register from uh, Burn Jewelers? I immediately recognized the register. I, I wasn't sure it was the same one. Uh, and then when uh, Evan explained to me and Celeste that it was, you, you could have knocked me over with a feather. Well, th this uh, picture was probably taken in uh, Union Station, and uh, you can see the register. Uh, it seems that Charlie Byrne is pointing to it right now. For my dad, he was always a very sentimental person, and I'm sure he's smiling down from heaven knowing that this wonderful you know, treasure that he had for all these years and that we played with his children went back to the original family. Well, I think of my grandfather's shop. He was a jeweler watchmaker. This big machine was the center of attention along with the jewelry because it was uh, just such a massive, bright, brass, shiny object that made a, a nice chime to it. Sticks in your head as a kid. So there's been a lot of highs and lows this year, and it's just really nice to end 2020 on a, on a positive note. It's heartening to know that history has made its way back home and it's back in the family's business. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.